24th meeting of the technical committees between Namibia and Angola is taking place in Vantuk today. One of the more pertinent issues discussed is the Baines power project, which has the potential to alleviate Namibia's power shortage. Namibia currently imports more than 50% of its power from South Africa's power utility, ESCOM. Namibia and Angola are working on a number of projects of mutual interest. These include the Kunene Transboundary Water Supply Project and the proposed Baines Hydro Power Station. A technical committee comprised of representatives from both countries today agreed on the preliminary findings of studies on ongoing projects. Yesterday's session, the Commission was privileged to have been taken through the preliminary findings of the respective studies, which the teams and the contracted consultants have been preoccupied with during the past few months since the last Commission meeting. Namibia currently receives water for its north-central areas from the Kaluweke Dam in southern Angola. The dam is only a few kilometers north of the Ruakana Hydro Power Plant along the Kunene River. An open water canal winds from Kaluweke into Namibia all the way to Oshakati. Namibia and Angola are also proposing the Baines Hydro Power Station, which could provide crucial electricity to Namibia to sustain and stimulate economic growth. But the uh, project looks good and it, it's looked, it can uh, generate, pa generate power up to 600 megawatts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is uh, what the project is. But uh, the technical people are meeting today to discuss the, all these reports. Then they will table to the policy makers upon which they will decide how, how to continue, when to continue with the project. While today's meeting centered mainly around the preliminary findings of the studies, the committees also discussed the environmental and social impact of the Baines project. By August this year, the two countries will have to decide on how to proceed on the Baines power station. This is Edgar Brandt reporting for the News on One.